Hey guys, in today's Procreate tutorial, you will learn every step of drawing this beautiful night landscape illustration. You will only use brushes that are already in Procreate. There is a sketch file and a color palette for you to download, just in case you need more guides. You can find the link in the description below. First, let's select a color for the background, which is the first color in the palette. And on layer 1, we are going to use the selection tool, which is here, and stay with rectangle. Around halfway, let's draw a rectangle. And fill the color. It's the same color for the background. Now add a new layer and drag it below the previous layer. The brush we are going to use is Studio Paint in Inking. And open Studio, we can set up the streamline to maximum for um, drawing smooth lines. Okay, select the dark color and let's draw the bush. Close the shape to be able to fill in the color. Now add a new layer and drag it below the bush layer. And select this color. Let's draw the mountains. Also, remember to close the shape. And drag the color to fill it. Let's create a new layer and drag it to the bottom. Use the third color in the palette. Let's draw the trace in the background. Close the bottom. And drag the color to fill it. And onto the other side. At the new layer, let's draw the truck. Let's zoom in and draw a straight line hood at the end to get perfectly straight lines. And remember to close the bottom and fill the color. Let's draw some small branches. And let's draw the next one. Always draw and hold. The line will become straight. And you can click on the edit shape option and drag the blue points to suit your name. Now let's draw the rest. Let's move to the tray on the other side. Next, we are going to draw the lakeside house. Create a new layer. And we are going to select this color. Use the rectangle selection tool again. Let's draw a small rectangle. And drag the color to fill it. Then let's draw a triangle on the top. Fill the rest. And duplicate this layer. Use this light blue to fill it. Click on the arrow. And stay with uniform. Let's make this layer smaller and move it to the center. And create a new layer below the two layers. We're going to use this color and we're going to draw the side of the house. And also let's 
just draw a few straight lines to make the shape. Make sure you close the whole shape and drag the color to fill it. Now at this stage we can um, refine the shapes a little bit. You can select the colors by just use one finger and tap on screen then hold. Let's use Studio Paint to refine the shape. The corners, let's make it sharp. Also, you can use eraser tool and select studio pane to get rid of the unnecessary part. And let's turn off a lock off this layer. And select a darker color, use studio pane. Let's just make the side darker than the roof part. And you can always increase the brush size to make it easier and time saving. Now create new layer above all the layers of the house and use the rectangle tool again. Draw a small window and fill it with this color. And duplicate this layer. Let's click on the arrow and move it to the other side. Now merge these two layers. Okay, now let's Create a new layer above the rectangle and let's draw the moon. Draw a circle and hold. Tap your finger on the screen and click edit shape. You are able to move it around to the right position and fill the color. This color is the last color in the palette. And we are going to add a new layer and draw the bush in the front. You can follow the sketch file or just do whatever you like here. It's very random. And move to the right corner. Let's draw the water flowers. You can always use the quick shape tools. And draw another one. Use color for the moon. And let's draw a small flower on the top. And fill it. And cover the small dark area. And draw another one. Okay, let's draw the reflection of the moon. You can draw an eclipse and then hold and draw a few more, make them connected with each other. And then fill them. Make the sharp corners round. Click on the arrow, you can move it around and make it smaller and adjust the size. Let's add more light on the water surface using the same way. And create a new layer and choose this color. And we're going to draw the small pier. And use this rectangle tool again. And fill the color. Use the rectangle tool again. And draw a rectangle which is shorter but taller than the previous one. And let's draw the light on the pier.
you could follow a sketch file at this stage or just draw it yourself just use the straight lines to draw the shape and the top part and just fill the color and the bottom part okay now let's use the eraser to refine the shape and turn our alpha lock just using your two fingers and swipe to the right select this light blue color and let's cover the middle part with this light blue you can increase the brush size to fill the middle part okay at this stage we have finished the base tone now next let's add lights and gradients using the noise brush let's turn off a look for all the layers and go back to the bottom and create new layer and drag it to the very bottom use the color for the moon and reduce the noise brushes opacity and let's add some light here on the bottom sky okay now move to the tree layers use this purple color and add the green colors around the edge of the trees and use this light blue and to add more layers just move it around the very edge and same for the tray on the right side Use the light blue and draw on the edge. Okay, now let's move to the mountains. Select the third color and add some shade and also the lighter blue and add some light on top. and the bush we're also going to add a gradient color to it just adding a light color on the top and come to the lakeside house just select the color use your finger and just adding some transaction and some reflection on the bottom in this layer let's add some lights in this one as well The windows we are going to add some dark gradient on the bottom.
layers we have four layers for the house and we are going to merge all of them to one layer and also merge the house with the bush and the mountain layers and we are going to duplicate this layer to make the reflection move it above the rectangle layer and use flip vertical to make it and make a clipping mask to the rectangle and we're going to use this arrow selection tool again just to make sure it's in the right position and here let's change the opacity into 50 percent around 50 percent And let's create a new layer and use this purple color and go back to studio pane. Let's draw the shadow of the tree. Close the shape. Make sure you close the shape and fill the color. And here we use eraser and choose the noise brush. and just erase the upper part and the edge let's make it soft okay, let's also soften the edge of the reflection you can adjust the brush size make it smaller to soften the edge and also the mountain side now let's go to the reflection layer and use the eraser tool just to make it softer and the ones on the left side just erase the bottom part make it look natural Now let's create a new layer on the top to draw the light and select the yellow color and the noise brush. You can reduce the brush size to draw the middle part and just press a little bit harder in the center and then increase the brush size and draw the outside gently press on the screen to create the glowing effect now let's merge these two layers and duplicate it we are going to flip it vertically again and then move it and reduce the size to around 50% to create the reflection and we can use eraser to just soften the bottom part and for the bush in the front we could also add some light on the top ok now let's go to the rectangle layer in the middle and 
adding some light on the water surface and set this purple and let's add some lights here and also some lights in the front just press gently okay now let's go back to the moon layer and let's draw some stars select the color for the moon and use studio pen you can reduce the brush size into around 50% and just press on the screen press harder to get bigger ones and press gently to get smaller stars and don't forget the corner let's add a few more Now we can call it done. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and give it a like if it's helpful and I will see you in the next one.